Up to this point, we've really only examined acids and bases reacting with water. But of course, we know that they can react with each other as well. So what happens when an acid reacts with a base? And how can we tell whether the reaction will be favorable or unfavorable, spontaneous or non-spontaneous? The generic reaction in question is HA plus B going to A minus and BH plus. If either the acid HA or the base B is strong, then we treat this reaction as if it's irreversible. That is, as if it has a large equilibrium constant and goes essentially to completion. You've already memorized the six strong acids. They're the acids with Ka greater than one and K pKa less than zero. And for the time being, we'll consider strong bases to be those with Kb greater than one. That is, at least as strong as OH minus. But what about weak acids reacting with weak bases? These are, in actuality, the majority of acid-base reactions in the real world, like the reaction of bicarbonate with lactic acid to make unyeasted breads rise, or the reaction of citric acid and dimethylamine to neutralize the characteristic smell of fish. These are the reactions of weak acids with weak bases. How do we know whether and to what extent these reactions occur? To figure out the equilibrium constant for the generic reaction between an acid and a base, we can use a few reactions for which we do know the equilibrium constants. The acid's strength is defined by this reaction, and the base's strength is defined by this reaction. If we add them together, and then add the reverse of the auto-ionization of water, the water molecules, hydronium and hydroxide ions, all cancel out, and we're left with the reaction of HA and B to make their conjugate base and conjugate acid, respectively. We know the equilibrium constants for each of the first three reactions. They're Ka for HA, Kb for B, and 1 over Kw, since we reversed the auto-ionization of water. So the equilibrium constant for the generic acid-base reaction is the product of these three equilibrium constants. The Ka of HA times the Kb of B divided by Kw. Now I've mentioned several times that pKa values are more commonly tabulated than Ka or Kb values. So there's another equation for Keq that allows us to calculate Keq from pKa's. That is, Keq for an acid-base reaction equals 10 to the pKa of the product acid minus the pKa of the reactant acid. This value is the pKa of the conjugate acid of B, and this is the pKa of the acid HA. So how do we interpret these equations? What do they mean? The more obvious interpretation is that the stronger the acid and the base that react, the larger the equilibrium constant. Another interpretation is that an acid-base equilibrium favors the side with the weaker acid and base. 